Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to do a special build inspired by Friday the 13th. We're going to build our own Camp Crystal Lake. Let's get building. So you'd see my pit boy, I have a brand new quest called Friday the 13th and uh, effectively this is a mod um, which relates to a movie which I'm going to talk about in a minute. So it actually puts a little new settlement down at the bottom of the map called Camp Crystal Lake. And um, what I will do is I'm going to put a separate video out this week which shows you what, how this mod works and, and the quest line and everything. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Anyway, give you the story behind this because um, <laughs> it's quite interesting. So here we are at Macwater. Um, I was on a live stream with a very good friend of the channel um, called Epic Hands. Um, if you haven't check out his channel, I'll leave a link in the bottom, um, he does a lot of horror stuff but he is also part of the Fallout community, does some live streaming on Fallout quests etc. So I was on his live stream and obviously in the chat we were um, having a conversation about many many things and somehow Friday the 13th came up and if for those of you that don't know uh, what Friday the 13th is, it's, it's a very early slasher movie if you like from the 80s um, one of the originals and it centers around a place called Camp Crystal Lake and the storyline goes along the kind of premise that it is a camp for a summer camp for teens to go to and um, in the late 50s a boy um, mysteriously drowns in the lake and then uh, the year after there are a series of um, unexplained murders that happen at the camp and it gets closed um, it gets closed for quite a while and then it pick, the storyline picks up a little bit later where um, somebody has bought the property and is reopening it and so that's when all the fun begins. So if you haven't seen the movie before, go and check it out. It's one of those movies that was iconic in the 80s. Um, it has been remade. I'm sure it was remade a few years back um, to be, you know, bring it up to date. But it's it was one of those very interesting movies that um, it, the critics hated it, but the public for some reason loved it and therefore... Um, it became one of these movies that was has just became become I iconic Friday the Thirteenth. It's a huge franchise now. It's a, it is absolutely massive franchise. Uh, for me, I'm a purist. I loved the original, and then they then it started to get silly, and they they built numerous uh, sequels for it. Um, there's been a TV series, I think. There's been comics. There's all kinds of stuff. So. The main character is Jason Von Hees, and um, you would have seen him in the intro. He's uh, his kind of famous claim to fame is his mask and his um, and his uh, machete, and also his axe. Um, it's a good series of horror movies if you're into it. And I think <laughs> I think because I was playing um, at last the other week. It was uh, possibly had more of an effect than than I realised. So, um, so we so the, during the stream, the Camp Crystal Lake came up. I don't know that it was a challenge as such, but I kind of said to Epic, I said, "Yeah, we should. I should build one. I should build Camp Crystal Lake." And um, so it's that was a few weeks back. I've been trying to figure out where I could do it and where it would um, where it would fit for quite a few weeks now. And obviously, if you've seen my series of um, builds in the Ten Pine Fort, which I'm nearly finished now, um, you would have uh, you would have seen Cabin in the Woods. So, Cabin in the Woods kind of fits with. Camp Crystal Lake, 
look at this old school glitching here guys um, I have a video that I've just put out uh, regarding uh, in a new series that I've, I've kind of put together I don't know how long it'll go for I think I'm going to combine it with mod reviews and um, and some building tips so I've got a new series that's come out this Friday just gone and yeah, gameplay Friday wasn't getting the support that possibly I expected so I'd, that hasn't gone completely but I've, I've replaced it with a few other things like building tips and mod reviews so um, constant um, updating the channel and making sure that we're keeping it fresh uh, uh, having new ideas and new things coming for you that, that you actually want to see so uh, you know gameplay Friday wasn't uh, the the views had dropped off and so th therefore we'll just park it for now so going back to what I was originally saying cabin in the woods this discussion on Friday the 13th where would we build it and Markwater just seems to be the right place it's usually a kind of dim place it's <laughs> it's always raining and kind of miserable here so it, it fits with that kind of horror vibe I guess perfectly now I'm not going to recreate Camp Crystal Lake to the letter for those of you that have seen the movie or are maybe love those that movie and uh, know a lot about it or yeah whatever there are many, many little Easter eggs and references to the original Friday the 13th that you will see in the final tour. Um, I hope you enjoy those and I hope you can pick those out. Uh, it's, uh, it's certainly an enjoyable build for me because I love my horror movies and I always have. Uh, it, Friday the 13th was one of those movies that was came around at a time when that genre was just ca coming through a resurgence and um, there were so many um, so many great series that came out of that like Friday the 13th, Halloween, The Omen, The Exorcist etc so it was a great time uh, for those movies to, and I've got most of those I've got a huge collection of horror movies now I'm putting the, the base in for the first cabin I'm only going to build the first cabin here and you can see this um, this foundation is just fighting me so in the end what I do is I cheat and I put just put one of these floors in just to fill that gap nobody's going to worry about it it's on the side of a hill nobody's going to look at it so I'm only going to build one cabin here uh, uh, the reason why is I just think it, it it's pretty much you don't want to watch a, a whole video of me what building cabin after cabin and it's all the same design so um, build the first one and then I'll do the, the tour at the end and you'll see the there is it, it just turns out so good I think it's uh, and I kept adding bits and adding bits and doing a bit more research but I think it, it's where it's been well worth it in the end because it just looks so good so if you haven't seen my um, my Fort Bluff video go and check it out it's uh, it uses cabin in the woods these, this is just, this, I love this mod, it's part, Etheron it, is such a great mod developer and it just, for me, this fitted and, and these pieces are just so easy to, to work with and there's not much to it, I mean, it, it, for a cabin it all snaps together pretty easily for some reason I, I don't realise that I'm not right on the edge of the, the foundation there I don't know, maybe it was early in the morning and I was sleeping or something, I don't know, I don't know what was going on but I'll, I'll show you a few things that I, I don't think I've showed you before in the Ten Pines uh, build because there is one particular thing that fits this very nicely. Uh, the other thing is, you see how this is on a little bit of a hill? I guess in the building series that's something I could cover is, is building on land that isn't flat and, and how you get round that I know there's a few people that have wrote to me and they struggle a little bit with that so I'm going to include that in the building series that's coming up yeah these I don't know what happens with these they snap but they snap weird sometimes but never mind that's okay and sometimes with these you have to spin them around I don't know it's, anyway not to worry I did I must admit I am um, when I'd, I'd done the video, the building series video that I've just released 
last Friday. I done so, I actually started building with zero mods, except that's not true, there was one mod, but that was only a fixer mod. So no mods, and it actually fixed a lot of my problems. Uh, disabling all my mods and re-enabling them, but it, <laughs> it has made a lot of pieces in some of the settlements disappear temporarily, so I've had to go back and put certain things back in place. Again, cabin in the woods, in the whole master plan series, vanilla extensions included all interact with each other. So what you'll find with these is some of the vanilla pieces might not snap to, to some of this, some of these uh, cabin in the wood pieces, but the vanilla extensions certainly will. And so you'll see in a, you'll see in a minute what I'm talking about, and I'll, I'll show you exactly the, the difference here. So just these railings in the barn tab of vanilla extensions, fantastic. Um, you, you wouldn't have seen that, you don't see them in, in other mods, so it's good, and I like it, it fits this nicely. So we're going to put, this is something I didn't show in the Fort Bluff um, build, but there are these fireplaces included in Cabin in the Woods right at the end here. See, nice fireplace, and they also include, and I'll show you in a minute, they also include something to put inside them. I don't think I've got all those, <laughs> I think all those uh, wood panels line up as far as the colour of them. So I'm looking for, the, so they've got these windows, fantastic, look at that. It is a great mod, check it out if you, if you get time, if this is, if you like to build this kind of building. Now I'm looking for, and I think you have to go out of this and go and you know, keep going down. So I'm looking for the, there's actually a fire, a number of animated fires that you can hit there, that you can put in there, look, and it just snaps straight in there. So I'll show you the different types. Oh, that's pretty wild, that one. So we'll just put the first one in. Look at that. That just makes such a difference. So we're doing well so far. We'll do the usual, let's step back and have a good look, and it, that's shaping up very well so far and um, we'll put the roof on now I've gone to the warehouse roof you could go to the barn roof but I, I just wanted you to sh to see this I left it in because I wanted to see this because this will not snap it will not snap on to cabin in the woods see just it, there's no snap point and yeah, I could glitch it in, but there's a much better solution here. So we'll go to vanilla extensions. And they they have a barn tab. And for some reason, these do snap straight away. See, bang. Now, it does take me a while to, to sort out. The, they're kind of in a weird order here for some reason. Um, sort out the, the different end pieces, but we, we get there. We get there. There we go. So the channel, uh, the channel is going okay at the moment. It's we're picking up subscribers. I uh, I would love to have seen subs the subscription level go up a lot bit quicker, but it's higher than I expected at this point in time. So thank you for the thank you for all the support. It, it means means a lot to me. It, it means that. There is some value to what I'm doing, and in, in that you are, you are actually getting something out of the videos that we're posting. So, thanks so much for your support. The views are just incredible, much higher than I expected at this point in time, and uh, it has been it's really enjoyable to be part of the Fallout community and interact with a lot of different people. I, I'm making a lot of friends, and and I've I've had a lot of great conversations with people and it's it's amazing how many different points of view there are about how the game should be played and you know a whole lot of elements within Fallout. I do it's no secret that I want to diversify the channel a little bit more and, and add some more um, some more games into it. it. One of the things that I'm thinking is possibly a Borderlands series and I know that's an old game but it's just one that I love so much and I find it extremely funny. 
the live streams are, are doing very well. Uh, unfortunately, the last live stream, I do apologize for the last live stream that I did because the audio quality was not to my usual standard and that was basically because I had um, I had one button ticked that kept the background noise down low. But anyway, we're working on all that. It's all a learning curve. Uh, live streams are really enjoyable for me to do. And I know Z14, who's recently subscribed to the channel, was asking if I could do some uh, build videos on live stream, and, and certainly I'm, I'm happy to do that. And, and I'm just going to figure out what what kind of builds I would do, and when I, when I'll do that. So that that will be coming up fairly shortly. I'm not going to commit to something just quite yet, but um, it's certainly something that I will do going forward. So the last little bit on this build to finish and we'll do the final tour which I'm just going to let you absorb I'm not going to want to talk through here we are Camp Markwater Lake enjoy guys thanks for the support catch you later